guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new video here at my Montana house. So we are here with another episode of Unmess My Nest Montana Edition. Uh, as you guys saw in my house tour, my living room is a little strange. It's a little small. So we're gonna flip it and give it a little makeover. This is not, this is kind of like a temporary makeover because I feel like I'm gonna change it multiple times. But I'm super excited to announce that I am partnering with Allform. If you guys haven't heard of Allform before, they're actually the sister company of Heal. I am a partner with Helix mattresses. I'm obsessed with them and this is their sister company and they specialize in couches chairs and ottomans So many different configurations and the cool thing is is that they're actually modular They come shipped right to your house in a couple boxes. You can set them up any way you want They're scratch resistant. They're stain resistant they're great for pets and they're super comfortable So mine just came in we're gonna go check it out bring it in set it up and then start designing the living room around it So here she is so it's a seat seat and then this one's the chaise because it's a chaise like l-shaped sectional these are the arms so all right i guess we can get started by bringing these inside and the best part is free shipping of course all form will deliver your brand new couch to your door for free and all four makes it super easy. If you're nervous to buy something you haven't tried before, you get a 100 day guarantee, which means you can use the couch for up to three months. And if it's not 100% to your liking, all four will pick it up for free and give you a full refund. All right, the time has come for the Nebula chandelier to leave. Uh, this thing has haunted my dreams. Whoever selected this in the first place belongs in jail in a straight jacket, electric chair, prison, all the things, because it's just, it's not giving. It's not giving. I don't even know what it looks like, but it looks like hell to me and it makes me feel worse. And this is the light that I got. I've used this light before in home design projects as well. I just think it's a, it's a great minimal light. I like that it's matte black. It goes with everything. This was just from Lowe's. I think it was like $150. So I'm definitely gonna be replacing this monstrosity. Okay, before we get rolling on the all form couch, I wanted to lay down the rug. As you can see, the inspo is like a rust slash earthy tone, natural, neutral rug. I really love that rust color. And I'm super excited because my friend, Mr. Kate, actually has a new line of rugs available and this is one of hers. It's actually washable, super durable, great for pets. So I thought I would buy one and just see how it looks. Okay, moment of truth. All right, this has the rug pad already in it, but so far, I think I'm kind of obsessed with that. It's actually really, really good. Yeah, I'm obsessed. I mean, I love how distressed it looks, but it has all these neutral colors. It has a little blue in there, which is great because I love blue tones. It's really pretty. Oh, little girl, are you helping me? Yeah, you know that all form is the perfect couch for puppies, huh? <laughs> You're being a great help, girly. Okay, so this is what we have going on right now. This is not set up, but I just kind of placed the couch, kind of how it's gonna look. It's a three-seater with a long chaise. It's in this beautiful, like, sand color. I really like this neutral. So you can see all the pillows are here, the seat pillows are here, and then in this package, everything's really Nicely labeled, this has the screws and the legs and everything, and the sides. Everything is so well done. I really, really like the shape. So this is the hardware. Very, very easy to put together. As you can see, you don't really need any tools. These are all like screw-in. And then these are the legs that I chose. These are just this natural finish. So beautiful. Wood grain is really pretty. And it even comes with this little how-to manual. So now we have one seat done, and to connect the right arm, I'm gonna screw in the connecting pin here. Super simple, just like that. That right arm is now in, so all we have to do is connect the bottom of that arm to the couch. Now we're gonna pop on these natural finish legs. Look how gorgeous those are. And repeat this entire process, and I'll see you guys with a Full couch in a minute. Okay, under 30 minutes later, the couch is put together. All I have to do is put on the cushions. And also, this chaise is actually movable, so you can switch it from side to side. So, in case you want to switch it around or if you don't want to use it at all, really easy. Uh, 
I need a break. I'm a little tired. Oh, needless to say, I'm already obsessed with it. I love that it has a chaise so I can lounge and lay out so comfortably. If you guys are interested in getting your own all form, you guys can go to www.allform.com slash Daniel Prada and get 20% off your couch, chair, your entire order. So definitely check them out. I'm super excited to style this. But yeah, I'm super impressed by all form. I love the color. I love the quality. It's very comfortable, very durable, super easy to put together. I love the wooden legs. I think it's a perfect neutral couch and the great size also for really any living room. And it's also American made, which is pretty cool. Couches are really difficult. I mean, coming from somebody who moves a lot, well, who has moved a lot in the past, sometimes, you know, you get a couch for one place and it doesn't work with another. So I really like that this is modular and it has those options to change around. And there's over 500 different configurations so you can find a couch that is perfect for your living space. Also, they do have some really pretty leather couches and chairs. I really wanna get one of their leather couches. I think I'm gonna order one of those next. I am gonna figure out exactly which configuration I wanna put it in right now, and I will see you guys in the morning, and we're gonna style out the rest of the living room. Early the next morning. Okay, so it's the next day, and I have placed the sofa. I think this is the best place for it. Let me show you. Also, the new chandelier is up. Finally, we got rid of that monstrosity. Okay, so this is where I've chosen to put the couch. Initially, I was gonna put it here, but I don't really like having my back to the windows. I do have this chair here. I already have this chair, so we'll see if it can work in this corner. It's a little odd shaped, but I really like this. There's enough room here, and I don't really use that door at all. I am gonna have a credenza here, just like a little entryway moment, and I already have drilled holes for a mirror here, a circular mirror. Yeah, I don't know. I kind of like that you can walk all around. I want to hang this portrait here. This is the vintage frame that I got. I'm gonna hang it there, and then I'm gonna hang curtains have a coffee table and here is like a selection of stuff that I already had. So we're gonna design this room with all this stuff. I didn't wanna spend a ton of money on this living room because I'm sure I'm gonna be redoing it in the future, but I think this is a good way of doing it on a budget with stuff that I've kind of already had. I did get a few things like some pillows and blankets just to like freshen up the room, some candles but I'm gonna show you the way that I'm styling it with the color palette that I chose that you guys saw on the mood board. So let's get to it. Okay, curtains are up. These are those same curtains that I used in my bedroom here. Super affordable, and I kept the gold on this like charcoal gunmetal rod that was already here. I don't mind it, but they look really good. So for this area here, I had this mirror. This was from West Elm. Actually, this might actually be a dupe for West Elm but it's just rose gold. I like mixing metals in the room. I think it looks really good on this wall. And then here I just have this really simple wooden credenza I got at Home Goods for like 49 bucks or 50 bucks and it's just been in storage. I thought that would be perfect until I find something that I want to keep there forever. This is a basket that I picked up. I have used this many times in different projects. This is from Target, I love it. This was 30 bucks. I had this rattan, actually I think it's bamboo, just like a footstool slash table. It could be a coffee table. I might see if that works or I might just use it as a side table. This was actually this color, but it was kind of worn because I left it outside. So I painted it with that same paint that I used in my room makeover from Montana. And I think it just gives it a new life and it brings in just that natural element from the out outdoors and I'm gonna have a lot of plants in the room so this is perfect and then I'm all about that texture I had this pillow this was from world market I believe this is a boucle pillow that was on sale 50% at Target's this beautiful coppery color this was $15 I had this one this one I got this was $10 at Target and then this one was $15 on sale it has that warm brown and those muted neutrals and then these two I already had. Uh, I think this is from Casa Luna and this is from McGee & Co. Uh, just neutral, so I'm gonna play around with these textures and put them on the couch. Okay, so I'm keeping this credenza area pretty simple. If you guys recall, I used this lamp in my bedroom makeover and I loved it so much I ordered another one. I just thought it was beautiful for $20 from Target, I thought this was a great deal. I love the shape, I love the texture, I love the color, it's perfect, it's really good quality. And I do love this pleated, kind of vintage style shade that it came with. Great deal, it's pretty, it's um, like brushed metal on the top, brushed gold. I have a little tray, 
I have a candle, this is the volcano candle, I believe. Yeah, and then I have a couple books. Uh, this is a book from Terrain that I had, and then a Kelly Wurstler style book. This is from Home Goods that I got on sale, and then I have this really cute little fig plant with this cute little minimal vessel. So I'm gonna style this out. So this is a really small living room and it has that weird pesky shape that I, I really don't like it and it's really actually very difficult to style for me because I love a big, big comfortable couch. And one thing I really wanted the vibe to exude in here was just chill, comfort, and it's kind of hard to do that with a small living room. So what I highly suggest is little lights. Like I just showed you that lamp that's gonna give the vibe off, especially when you light it with like a warm bulb, it's just gonna keep it super warm in here. I did get a floor lamp also from Target. I've had my eye on this for a while. They range from 60 to $100, but this floor lamp, I got it for 50, it was on sale. Sometimes you can find like end cap deals. But let me show you the light. So this is the light right here. It is by Threshold. It's 61 and three quarter inches tall. It's called the Downbridge Floor Lamp. I like that it has a foot switch, it has a black finish with a tan. It looks almost like a linen shade. I just think it's really neutral and it'll give a little warmth to the room with the right light bulb. Okay, let's talk coffee tables. Small space living rooms, it's hard to get a good coffee table. So I always like to go with a bench or something of the sort, just cause you can put your feet on it, it can be an ottoman, or you know, you can use it as a coffee table. This is a little macrame bench. This is also from Target and I'm gonna accessorize it. This is actually a kitchen cutting board, but it's very, very cute. This is from Hearth and Hand, this is $9.99. I'm gonna use this, you know, if you wanna put a mug, if you wanna put a candle. I also did get this candle at Jungalo. This was $15, I just loved the color and it smells really nice, so I'm gonna accessorize it with some other things that I have. But yeah, this is gonna be the coffee table. And then this is the fireplace here. I need to tuck these wires, but the mantle is so small that there's really not a lot I can put here. I could do a sconce, I could do some tall taper candles, maybe a plant on this side, maybe some baskets over here. So we're just gonna have to wait until the final reveal so you guys can see how I style this out. All right guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was such a cute like budget makeover. I really liked it, I hope you guys did too. And if you did, make sure to give this video a big like and comment down below and make sure you're following me and subscribed and you're following me over on TikTok and Instagram and Twitter, just at Mr. Prada, that's me. Also, if you needed a sign, here it is. Dump him. I still don't have an outro, so this is the outro. I will see you next week with a brand new video. I love you so much, bye.